Hello everyone, no respawns here. I hope you're having a grand week. So I've made a cosy, not initially intending to be cosy, it was meant to be creepy, but ended up being cosy, and honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with it, it's cool. Uh, but I made a cosy little homestead. Now the set piece of this is the new tall windmill generator that dropped on the Atom Store uh, earlier in the week. And just as my little kind of view of that is it's quite good uh, if that's what you're looking for. It does only provide 12 power, but it does make for quite a nice little set piece and um, I'll show you when we get a bit closer I mean, I'm in photo mode, you haven't gathered. Uh, it doesn't have an ugly ass piece of white concrete on the bottom. So somebody at Bethesda is at least listening to my screaming about how ugly the nasty piece of concrete they like to stick on stuff is. So thanks at Bethesda for not doing that because that looks way nicer now. Uh, but no, in terms of it, it just it works really well and it blends in with it, it was a set piece that I needed for what I wanted to go uh, for here. So as you can see, and actually I'm going to go a bit closer. So the whole premise with this is I wanted to use all of the grimy shit that I hadn't used yet, basically. That, that, that was it. Uh, <laughs> we've got this contemporary wall, um, the kind of the contemporary house set and the various reskins of it. And this is the one that's all kind of tattered and destroyed. And I wanted to use it, but every time I used it, it didn't really fit because it's a little bit too destroyed. And then we were lucky enough to get this glorious abandoned mindset. And I was like, oh, oi, oi, I can blend those two together. And honestly, it works out quite well. I've got these little overhang areas here as well. And there's one over here. Uh, this is actually where I just dump stuff. This is my dump stuff area. When I be dump stuff, it's all the stuff I wanted to have in my base, but didn't necessarily suit the aesthetic of the rest of it. So I just sort of hide it in here. Also, if you do have, if you do have these little junk, chain link fences they can be basically squeezed anywhere so pick them up speaking of if you're watching this video live which is the 17th of march 2023 these junk walls are actually available on the app store as of now probably available for a couple of weeks they do come back so if you miss it it's fine don't worry about it but if you missed them out before uh, they are now on the app store and you should pick them up because they're quite cool and i use them for everything so, yeah, the whole premise of this, I initially wanted it to be a spooky house. Specifically, I play quite a bit of Dead by Daylight with my friends. And while I was building this, it was like, oh, it kind of looks like one of the killer shacks where you'd find a basement full of hooks. Um, but then when I started building it and decorating it, it turned out really wholesome. So initially meant to be something creepy. And then I made it look nice because I can't help it. <laughs> can't help it. Also, with the fences, because I always build big junk walls, that's sort of my thing. I wanted to play around with the kind of more minimalist, kind of smaller scale fencing. So I kind of limited myself to the three, uh, so the normal vanilla ones you get in the base game, uh, these kind of barbed wire ones, which I got ages ago, and then these cast iron ones. Obviously, I'm lucky enough that I've kind of picked up everything over the past couple of years that's dropped to the atom store. So if you want, you just use the vanilla ones and just kind of put stash boxes and bits and pieces inside but honestly they looked better than i was expecting when i was putting them down i was thinking oh this is gonna look really bland but nah it works and added bonus it doesn't use as much build limits so this place looks satisfyingly busy which is sort of my thing i like clutter so wholesome i haven't shown you where i am so this area right here i've built a few times so i am just south of twin lakes and just to the what, west? Oh, yeah, west. Yes, I had to count the northeast, southwest thing in my head. Don't judge. Um, near Huntersville. I like this spot a lot. I always forget where it is. Uh, I build. I think this is the third time I built here, and every time I forget where it is. So Twin Lakes. There's there's a river, right? It's there's a river here, and I think you spawn in over there somewhere. So just 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 bear that in mind. So we've got a wee little gate here. This is the first one I haven't put my name. In my, my kind of channel name emblazoned on it mainly because i couldn't fit it in i'm gonna have to make another version of that that i can put on smaller structures so i said i've got these little areas here i've also squeezed in my wee little shelter in the corner uh, initially it was going to be in this piece so for those who didn't do the last season which you may notice if you noticed on my score i'm only on level two right now because i took a break um but in the last season we got these quite cool little planters they'll almost certainly be on the atom store again at some point so don't worry about it if you miss them but i wanted to use these as well and yeah they're pretty cool they've got i think two or three different versions yeah because it's they have different levels i think one of them has like a like a, an opening area as well and you can squeeze quite a lot of stuff in them as you can see 
Uh, and also I could squeeze in, you see there, I could squeeze in those chain link fences. So yeah, no, quite cool. I like them. I'm probably going to utilize them quite a lot because I think they would make individually very, very good shacks on their own. I've got a sort of like favelas idea I'm going to do with them, but I kind of wanted to do this first when this dropped. Oh yeah, let me just look in closer in this as well. No disgusting, crappy looking piece of concrete glue to the bottom. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. And it does still sink into the ground. So Bethesda, please continue doing that. So on the interior of this, honestly, it does look a little bit better from the outside. I like the decoration. The issue, uh, it actually looks quite nice inside. So this is me being nitpicky, is that because of the way Bethesda have made their interior walls, if it's something like this where it's kind of textured, you can't put flat stuff on it properly because they end up sinking in all weird. And also some stuff, as you can see, sort of floats off. It's because they want it to have wallpaper. So they've done this kind of sort of standardized way that the walls work, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm, it might also just be a limitation of the engine. But it looks nice as long as you don't you know, look too closely and notice that half the stuff is hanging off the walls. I do have and I'm going to preempt this because many of you know this, I do have a design for the interior of my houses, which I sort of follow. I have my little set piece area here and the bed design I like, and then I sort of just free myself up. But it's cosy. I think this stuff one could probably do with some more stuff in it, but I've got a kind of nice little weather period. Also, highly recommend you do these little glass roofs. Uh, they, it's just generally for the lighting. It looks really, really vibey, and it just mixes things up. It's quite nice. I do like it. Let me close the door. So yes, what initially started off as one, an excuse for me to show off that, but also then to make something spooky, turned into honestly quite a, a cozy, cozy little homestead. <laughs> I've also got my little, uh, little area. You can build right next to the river if you like. I mean, I'm up the lake, I'm not gonna stop you, but I do like this little stream. Cause I, to be honest, I always forget to loot these. So one of them is good enough for me. Cause it's just, yeah, I wouldn't need any more. Let me just get two up here. Let me cap here. This is quite a nice one. The problem is, is I like this a lot, which means, annoyingly, I'm going to have to now destroy another one of my camps for the next video. And that's just, that's just not cricket. Yeah, I don't like that. Bethesda, please give me more camp slots. Just, I need like at least 20, because I keep making things that I like and it's breaking my heart when I have to tear them down. Anyhow, have you made something with this? Let me know. It's not really a prefab, but it's big enough that it kind of did merit its own video in terms of just being a set piece. And I wanted you guys to see it so you can go, okay, will I like that? Will I use it? Yes, I almost certainly will. And it's just, it gave me an excuse to make all this. So I'm happy. Anywho, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. Um, If you're watching this live, I didn't make a video for the last week and a couple of days. It's just very, very busy at work. We're in kind of just at the tail end of Q1. And as, as many of you work in kind of professional jobs, you may know that when you've got stuff for like Q2 and Q3 in Q1, because everyone's on the holiday at the end and the start of it, it means that everything is sort of rushed in the last quarter. So I'm busy, but pleasantly so, and, and I should slow down soon. Uh, so that is why I had to kind of push this video back a little bit. Um, I will be streaming uh, possibly on Sunday or on Monday. Um, I haven't forgotten about Sons of the Forest. I did have a video working on last week. It was actually on the latest patch, but to be honest, it was very interesting. The new patch is good. It's just not interesting enough to drop a new video on. Uh, so I've got an idea of maybe doing a little bit more of a state of the game kind of video and kind of my thoughts because I have finished it and I've wrecked up like kind of 70, 80 hours. Uh, so I've kind of put some time in. But until that point, I'm going to... I'm going to bugger off, maybe actually start on the season, mix it up a little bit, and until I see you all soon, you have a lovely week, and if you're watching this live, have a lovely weekend. You take care.